Hello, I am Yogini Sunita and this is Meditation, Yoga and Stuff podcast. I believe my dharma or my life's purpose is to share my understanding of meditation, yoga and Ayurveda, holistic healing science of India. I make these amazing wisdoms accessible and adaptable for present time. So let's start. Today I am talking about acceptance. What is this acceptance is all about? So I am going to talk about yoga philosophy and its understanding of acceptance. So in yoga philosophy, the most sought after book we can say or scripture we can say is Yoga Sutra. It is sought after because in modern times, we can feel really connected to this particular scripture. And at the beginning of this scripture, the first sentence is Atha Yoga Nushasanam. That means here begins the discipline of yoga. So we need to understand that A, first of all, yoga is discipline. And second of all, It begins now, in this moment. So, in wisdom of yoga, this now is now, this moment. Doesn't matter what it is, we do not judge, we accept it as it is. So, yoga teaches us a lot about acceptance. What happens that we are constantly trying to think about future and try to direct our energy towards what's going to happen in future or we are stuck in past and in this past the memories that's where we are stuck and what yoga encourages us to do is come to this moment come here in this now and when we understand that when we understand that in this now is the real truth So you may ask, what does this mean? So this means that in this present moment, this is where you're meant to be. So no matter where or what life has happened, it has, you are here in this moment because of those experiences. So we understand that, we accept that and acceptance is the first step towards our self-improvement. Now, when we accept where we are, then we can move towards betterment of ourselves. We can move towards, okay, this is where I am. Once we accept that, we start moving towards, okay, where is this now? In this now, how do I feel? We notice our thoughts, we notice our mind, we notice what's happening in our whole being. So we notice energy sensations, notice physical sensations, notice our breath and notice our thought patterns. And you will learn so much in this present moment. You will notice maybe your mind is wondering too much or maybe it is lethargic, or maybe it is comfortable in this moment. Whatever it is, we accept that. So yoga teaches us acceptance. When we accept that, then what? So we start noticing, okay, this is what's happening in my body. That maybe the body is under a lot of stress. It could be mental, emotional, or physical stress. So what can we do? to work with that so we can bring in relaxation practices if we notice that there is no balance in the body what i mean is like right and left is entirely behaving differently or there is a little bit imbalance or is it big or small noticing that and when we start noticing that we start acknowledging that okay Maybe I use my right side more than left or vice versa. And from there onwards, how can we bring in balance? So doing the physical movement which will bring that balance. 
If you notice your mind is wandering too much, how can bring it into that peaceful place? So then doing the practices which will bring that peace and calm and relaxation in your system. Now, this is where yoga begins. This is where that understanding of what is happening in this now. And in this now, a lot of time we are okay. I'll explain what I mean. So when we are worried about future, we are very anxious. Mind is very anxious. So we are actually using our energy to be anxious about future. What happens when the mind is stuck in past, then it is depressed. And so when we notice that, we observe that and we slowly unstuck ourselves from the depression state. Now, all this comes with acceptance and with observation. So if we do not observe this now, we will never know that where we are stuck. Is it in past or we are worried about future? So all this is happening constantly in our mind. We are constantly wondering. Mind is the most fast moving object we have. And so one minute mind is here. The other minute it is thinking about future. It is thinking about someone in our life, maybe past or future. And it's really interesting like how the mind jumps from past to future to, you know, present moment to way, way back into childhood. And then again, we worried about what's going to happen tomorrow. So it's constantly happening. So what we can do is once we start noticing that mind is so busy, we start slowing down the thoughts by observing them. A lot of time that's what mind needs. And so when we start observing the thoughts, the mind starts slowing down. And you can do this now in this moment. You maybe want to pause this podcast and just observe your thoughts. And you will notice that as soon as you we start observing the thoughts, they start slowing down. As if our mind wants us to, you know, observe these thoughts, you know. And so mind is unruly child and we are gently bringing it into that discipline of slowing down and noticing the gaps between thoughts. That's where the peace is. So when we start noticing that, okay, mind is busy, it's working constantly, even in our sleep, it's busy. So we teach our mind to calm down. We teach our mind to bring awareness towards the present moment. And we also at the same time teach our mind that at this moment we are okay. So this is what basically a uh, basis of meditation practice. Again, I'm talking really lay person's way. There are a lot of more information and technique about it, but let's start with just observing the thoughts. Just observing the thought, what's happening. Now, we need anchor in our meditation. So if this anchor is maybe your breath or maybe physical sensations, then you can really tune into that as well. You can observe your maybe breath or maybe your thoughts rising in your mind or the gaps between thoughts. So that's how we can connect with our present moment, our now. Now, once we notice what's happening at present moment, we learn acceptance as well. So acceptance and being in present moment is really connected. And when we start connecting with the present moment, we start accepting it is what it is. And we start noticing that, okay, from here, now what? You know, and each and every moment when we start bringing ourselves into this now, in this moment, you will start noticing that most of the times we are okay. Now, if the mind is too anxious, it is a little bit difficult to stay connected in this now. 
if it is traumatized for some reason a childhood trauma it uh, wants to still connect with that trauma because it has really shaken the system but gradually we can bring it into this now by maybe connecting with our physical self by doing the movement with awareness and the, those are mindful movements gentle asana practice really works it brings us back into our body so most of the time we are thinking constantly and we are not in our body so we are looking outwards with our senses but with these kind of like gentle practices which can bring us into now so bring us back into our physical self with our thoughts we start noticing the energy of the thoughts is it negative is it positive once we start noticing that we start going into understanding our thought patterns we start noticing that okay they have coloring to it and we can consciously change the coloring of the thoughts what i mean by coloring is the thought may be have emotional coloring attached to it, it the thoughts could be either sadness or anger it could be joyous thought so whatever it is we accept it is what it is and we acknowledge that and we start also still continue noticing the gaps between the thoughts because that's where the peace is so acceptance in wisdom of yoga is the most important thing in fact we can say that the 50% of our battle is won here when we accept our reality as it is now from here when we accept it then the progress is possible because without acceptance we are constantly worried about either future or past or stuck into the past we constantly don't know what's happening the mind is constantly wandering so slowly and steadily bring mind back into what's happening in this now and in this now most of the time you will find that we are okay you know connecting with the breath connecting with the breath connecting with the breath that's the key so the true now is in this moment in this breath so wisdom of yoga tells us that what is now the now is our inhale and our exhale this is the only truth because the inhale and exhale which is in past is already gone and the inhale and exhale which is coming the breath coming after this is future we don't even know it is going to happen or not we are lucky if it happens but if not the reality is in this moment in this now the inhale and exhale we are still here we are alive we accept that and we connect with that so the more you will start connecting with your breath you will start noticing that your anxiety your stress responses reduce so what if we start this as our morning practice so first thing in the morning you can you know cleanse yourself and sit for meditation and when you're meditating all you can do is observe your breath if that is not possible you can choose a mantra and listen to that sound of mantra in your mind that's what meditation is so connecting with this moment is that's the way to go now a lot of people when i teach meditation people say to me that oh i don't know my mind is not calming down i don't know if it was good meditation or bad meditation i don't know today i did very bad meditation so we need to understand that the meditation is it is as it is we do not judge that experience we do not connect with the past experience about meditation because it will never repeat that moment is already gone so we do not connect with the was it good or bad because we just accept it is as it is so when we start noticing that there is no good or bad in the meditation it is the meditation experience is just that as pure as it is but we try to color that meditation saying that it is bad or it is good there is no such a thing so again bringing back to uh, yourself into this moment in this now 
is the key. And everything, when we start staying in this now, we start noticing that there is a peace in this moment. In this inhale and exhale, there is a pause. We can connect with the pause. And it has to be comfortable. Tune into that, what's happening with your breath. The moment you will notice your breath, it will start deepening. You will start noticing that your acceptance of this moment actually calms the system down. There is something clicks in our system. We just accept that, ah, okay, this is what it meant to be. So accepting and acknowledging that this it is what it is, we start noticing that and we start meditating on that. It, throughout your day, you know, you can start bringing awareness towards your breath whenever you remember. Whenever you remember, just a few moments, you don't have to sit and meditate for hours. Just for a few moments, notice your breath. Notice what's happening in this now. Notice the mind. Is it wandering off too much? Can you bring it back into this now? Gently start doing that. Train your mind to calm down. And you'll start noticing that when we connect with our breath in this now, the breath is naturally going to deepen. It will happen naturally. It doesn't mean that we have to take a big breath. No, it is what it is. We just notice the breath. It will naturally and beautifully elongate. That's okay. Allow it to happen. We do not force anything. And what you will notice that we start oxygenating our system more. Our anxious minds start calming down. Our depressed minds start coming into this present moment and start seeing the positive things around us. So this is what happens when we are in this moment, in this now. And for this reason, we can use different techniques, like I explained that connecting with the breath, observing the breath. You can also use the physical movements with awareness. Any good asana class where teacher helps you to connect with your this moment, in this now, bring yourself in your body. That is really wonderful and also there has to be relaxation practices at the end of the session because we are in constant go, go, go now. We're constantly doing a lot of activity. We are always in sympathetic mode. So we need the practices which will take us into parasympathetic mode. So finding practices which will help you to calm down. It could be nature walk, it could be a swim in the ocean, it could be meditation, it could be beautiful music you like to listen or play, it could be good asana class, tai chi class, anything like that will help you to connect with yourself. In Wisdom of Yoga, we call these Pratyahara practices which takes us from sympathetic mode towards parasympathetic mode. So I hope that today's podcast has helped you to move from sympathetic mode towards parasympathetic mode, helped you to understand the importance of the now, the present moment, and accepting this present moment. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate that, that you're taking this time out of your day. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye for now.